Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back, oh my flipping voice keeps going squeaky, welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back, <laughs> welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Grim Fandango, and yesterday we got recruited into the LSA, a group, uh, and is it? Yeah, LSA, a group of people that want to find out all the shady goings on in this building right here, find out what old Domino and the boss are doing, because they're doing some really shady shit, and our mission well, our main mission is to find some pigeon eggs so that the old leader of the LSA, Salvatore, I think his name is, can raise them from birth and turn them into homing messenger pigeons. <laughs> now, one other thing I've discovered, if you remember yesterday, old Manny, like a disgusting flipping weirdo, he decided he wanted to put uh, Domino's mouth guard in his mouth because um, Manny's a bit of a sicko. I think he's one of those people that are like into body fluids. <laughs> Disgusting. Right. But if you come in here, I'm not I'm not sure if this is like part of the of the quest, if I actually have to do this, but if you uh if you get the old math guard out, let me show you. Where's the math guard? I hope I've got it. Yeah. Right, if you come in here. Hey, what did they do with Glottis? I actually agree, I haven't seen Glottis in a very long time. I'm not gonna say that I'm mad about it because Glottis, <clears throat> he really pisses me off. He's got one of the most annoying voice, voices in the world. Now, if you click on this, the uh, filler, you can fill up this. Yeah. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. <laughs> oh, well. I don't really know. I think that's for cars, uh, Manny. I'm not really sure if it's good for teeth. But if you come out here and you press cross, now you've done that. Watch what old Manny does. That made a perfect impression of my teeth and like quite a chalky aftertaste too. <laughs> but old Manny is gonna make you know when you it's sort of like when you go to the orthodontist and they put that disgusting pink gunge in your mouth, like when you're gonna have braces and that, and they put that nasty pink stuff in your mouth. It's sort of like he's done that. And now with an impression of our teeth, we can give this to Eva. But I don't know if it was something we actually have to do. But I mean you probably do have to do it. I just I don't know. Because they never really mentioned it. They just mentioned that Manny had to keep his teeth here. <laughs> Manny can leave, but not his teeth. Got right. something here that might interest you. <laughs> yeah, a disgusting, a disgusting mold of my disgusting dribbly teeth. That's one thing. I think our Wolf Moon said this. Do uh, the skeletons even dribble? Because <laughs> I mean, they don't have a tongue. They ain't got no flesh. Their, their body's not working the right way. So, oh hello, Eva, Mrs. Fabulous Ass. I've got something for you. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. So does that mean that I can leave? Do I actually have to be here anymore? Because I'm pretty sure yesterday I asked you if I can leave and you said I can leave but not my teeth. So now you've got my teeth, can I like go home for a nice cup of tea and a, and a scone? I would really like that. I mean, I'm not even sure if Manny can eat. He definitely can drink somehow. <laughs> With skeletons. Okay, now what we got to do is we're going to have to find some carrier pigeons. Well, not carrier pigeons, uh, just pigeons. And we're going to need to find their eggs so we can give them to old Salvatore. Now, what I remember doing... Oh, what is it I had to do? Oh, I hope I haven't forgot the puzzle, because if I forget the puzzle, then uh, we're going to have a bit of a problem. What did I need to do? Oh yeah, if you come right to the edge here, this is what took me the longest to work out because I didn't even notice it. But if you get to the edge and press cross, old Manny picks up the rest of the uh, rest of the rope, and then you got to find something for the end of it and chuck it over to the ladder. And that also took me a long time to work out. Right, let's put that there for a second, and now we're gonna uh, we're gonna go and look for something to tie to the end. We're gonna make sort of like a grappling hook. Because old Manny is a bit of a ninja. He, seeing as he's been recruited to an agent now, he's become a bit of a badass. We have to come back. Did you climb through the window properly then, or was you being a little bit weird? <laughs> okay, if you come over here and you click on this drawer right here. What the? God, that was a very, uh, that was a very fabulous noise. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Now I found this, and I kept thinking to myself because when I found this, I hadn't actually picked up the tie. That uh, rope of ties, and I, I, I'm getting really confused. Like, what the hell is this for? But look at that. That is definitely shaped like a grappling hook, and that's when everything in my brain just clicked. 
I'll tell you, this game has got some of the most brilliant puzzles. I mean, they're brilliant. You just fit, you just look at the puzzles and you spend so long working it out. But when you finally work it out, you think, oh yeah, that's a perfect puzzle. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do, we are going to tie this beautiful coral to this rope. And what we're going to do, we're going to fry it over to the ladder. That's how Domino meant it to be used. Who cares what Domino said? <laughs> Who cares? I mean, you just robbed him. Oh, bloody mask. Right. Now, if you come over here, I think we might be missing something. I might have to come back down in a second, but let me show you. Yeah, I hope Manny can't fall off the edge, because uh, some games like to put invisible walls, but then other games like Knack, they don't like to put invisible walls, and then you just fall on your ass and die. <laughs> So our mission right now is to sort of uncover what's going on in this building because as you know, Manny was fired and he was sort of locked up and he sort of broke out. <laughs> so I don't really... Oh look, eggs! I don't really know what his plan is right now. Now, <laughs> these things right here, these are the most viciousest bloody purge you're ever going to meet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I might sound a little bit sniffly because I think I... Oh, look, can you hear the demonic noise? Oh, no. I might sound a little bit sniffly because I'm a little bit ill. I shouldn't really be recording, but... Yeah, I've got, I've got to record. <laughs> hey. Look at these vicious little gits. I mean, I, I st I st I'm not going to lie to you. I nearly spent as long here as I did with that uh, message shoot thing that we had to do a couple of episodes ago. And what I've worked out, I think I might have to actually go down... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't attack me, right? Don't attack me. If you come over to this right here, right? What do you want to do? I don't know if it's any if any balloon works, but I assume any balloon works. If you come over to this, right? I mean, what I was doing, I was filling this dish up here, this, like, vent-looking thing, with bread. Because, obviously, you can get bread. I don't know if I've showed you, but I think I've mentioned it. I was filling this up with bread. I thought all these birds will come over here. They'll eat the bread. And then we can uh, go and steal the eggs. It doesn't work like that. They eat all the bread and then they attack you like a bunch of bastards. <laughs> so we're going to put a balloon in there. Maybe now. That will scare them. Eventually. <laughs> now what we're going to have to do. I'm not sure if I've got any bread. No, I don't have no bread. Right. You're going to have to go to the balloon guy. And next to the balloon guy, there's like a bread stall and you can steal some bread. It does glitch out a little bit sometimes, the bread, though. Like, sometimes when you're holding the bread, it looks invisible. So, uh, you might have to watch out for that, because you might actually have it in your inventory, and you're not actually seeing it. It's like some sort of glitch or something. I mean, it, it might be alright. It might work this time, as I'm recording for YouTube. It wants to make me look like a liar. While we're here, can we beat up the balloon guy? <laughs> ah, here we go. See? All this delicious, delicious... Breadstick. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. <laughs> Quite, you say some. Oh no, yeah, uh, the, the bread's actually working. It's not glitched out this time. Right, you want to put this in your coat. Now, what we are going to do, because this game has got brilliant puzzles, we're going to go up to that balloon that we just put upstairs, up on the roof. We're going to cover it in breadcrumbs. And then these arsehole bloody vicious pigeons are going to start eating the bread. And then they're going to burst the bloom with their beak. And obviously, a bang like that, it scares all the birds away. <laughs> but once I've done this bit, I don't know what to do. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the next puzzles or whatever happens next isn't, isn't confusing. But old Tim Schafer is a genius. Bloody genius he is. <laughs> Okay, nah. Hopefully they don't attack me because these guys are such arseholes. Is my balloon still there? I think I could see it. Can you see it there? A little orange dot? Why are you walking? There we go. He didn't want to run, he didn't. <laughs> Alright, let's get our old bread out. Alright. Nah. Oh, that looks delicious. I remember just squeezing bread like that, making breadcrumbs when I used to go fishing a lot. Very, very good. Very good for the feeders. If any of you fishermen are watching me. Now, we wait to see if it will work. 
<laughs> Stupid birds. You know, Manny, I've got to say, you don't want to annoy the pigeons because they are going to go and find your yeah, fancy... beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. <laughs> they're going to find your car and they're going to shit on it because that's how pigeons get revenge. They shit on your car. I'm not going to lie. I've made a lot of pigeon enemies. And also, pigeons seem to laugh at you. I mean, at one time, I crashed my bike into someone's car because they sort of pulled up next to me on my bicycle, not, not a motorbike. And a flipping pigeon on the lamppost laughed at me. He was like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Alright, let's take some eggs. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. That's a bit, uh. That's a bit mean, uh, Manny. These are newborn chicks, and you're gonna scare them. Alright, I'm gonna have a question right now. I don't know if we'll get the answer for this, but when these hatch, these eggs hatch eventually, when he's uh, raised them for long enough, are they gonna hatch into actual pigeons, or are they gonna be skeleton pigeons? Because that will make no sense at all. Or we could actually, you know what we could do, Manny, if, if you're up for it, instead of joining the LSA and doing all this boring crap, how about we go into the kitchen and we cook these eggs and we make ourselves an egg sandwich? I mean, I'm not really a fan of fried eggs, so it'd probably have to be scrambled eggs. You want to do that, Manny? Huh? You fancy a fry up? Huh? Oi, 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 oi. I was trying to look at your face. Look at me. Oi, look at me. Yeah? You want to fry up? No? Oh, well, fuck you too then, Manny. Go on then, go be an agent. And to guess... <laughs> Just wave the eggs around. I mean, what if you accidentally drop them? I like how you only got two. You could have got all of them. Okay. Now let's go and speak to old Salvatore over here. You alright, Salvatore? How you feeling? Oh, look, he's looking at a... Uh, he's looking at like a, pro a projection of the birds. What are you doing, Manny? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here we go. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera. Yes. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. Let's go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? <laughs> love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. I think you're telling lies. Manny, you are telling mega lies. You want her. You want her majorly. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Oh no. I really don't like the sound of that, the petrified forest. You know, Manny, I reckon you do fancy uh, Murchy or whatever it is you call her. Because uh, since she mentioned her birthmark and she didn't actually tell you where it was located, you've had a thing for her, Manny. I mean, uh, it's, you can't be doing this, Manny. I mean, you fancy Eva, and you fancy, like, Murchie. You can't You can't do that. Manny, no, you've got to be a loyal, loyal skeleton. You've got to pick one. Stop being greedy. Oh, no, what's he got to be? <laughs> Go away, Glottis. Oh, not Glottis. No. Glottis, my friend. He's not Why my friend. Crying? Manny, oh, Manny, they fired me. <laughs> Good. Oh, come on. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Manny. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's oh. like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. To... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Gladys, what have you done? That oh, was... Oh, Gladys... That was a major overreaction, wasn't it? Oh my god, spiders. Oh, the flying spiders! I'll take it, we got. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really done this bit, so I hope there's no puzzly bits, but. What the hell? You can't just rip out your heart and throw it because you got fired? You're a crazy guy! 
Oh, did you see that, Wolf of Warfare? Did you see that? Flying spiders. That's got to be like... that. That is like the ultimate... Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, no. I agree. Ooh, ick. <laughs> Don't run near them. Don't run... Oh, no. This is going to be like uh, Harry Potter, ain't it? We start off seeing all the little spiders, and then suddenly out of nowhere, a massive tarantula appears. I can't actually remember what the name of that uh, spider was. Because it's old Hagrid's pet, ain't it? Uh... Can I take? Uh, it's stuck in there good. Wow, I'm pretty sure uh, Spiderweb ain't that springy. Cool, there's actually a... Uh, well, actually, oh no, actually, we could try our scythe. See if we can cut out of our scythe. There's a, uh, a spider, a little tiny one. I think it's in like South America. And it's like the size of my fingertip, I think. And it creates a web that's like rope. Massive, huge, fantastic webs from such a teeny spider. It's brilliant. <laughs> okay, uh, let's... Will this work? Oh. Piece of cake. Yeah, but you didn't really hit where the heart was. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua. Oi. Son of a bitch. I don't think that's gonna work. What the? What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's have a look around. The good thing about this game is, if you're lost, walk around everywhere and just tap cross, because <laughs> you'll find something eventually. I guess I could always use a spare. Oh, I didn't even know you could pick them up. They look like they're part of the scenery, don't they? They don't look like very obvious to pick up, do they? Maybe I can poke it out with a bone. Soup's on. Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Well, why the hell would they be interested in it with a bone? They've got a delicious, fresh, beating heart there, and they want to eat a bone. Manny, are you kidding me, Manny? Come on. Use your brain if you've even got one there. Right. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Uh... I'm going to try the old scythe again, see if I can cull it out. If I don't know what to do, though, then I'm going to have to end here. Because, like I said, I don't like walking around for too long and boring you all. I like to know what I'm doing in these types of games. Games like The Order and Uncharted, I can play blind, because I pretty much know what's going on. But games like this with puzzles, no way. <laughs> no way. Oh, shit! I hope that's what we're... Poor spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Oh yeah, that's all fabulous and that, uh, Manny. But you just catapulted his flipping heart. I actually did. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, such clever puzzles, isn't they? You know, I hope his heart isn't gone somewhere like worse, because you just catapulted his heart like a mile. <laughs> Unless it's conveniently next to Glyce. I bloody knew it. <laughs> I bloody knew it, be. All right, Manny. We're going to have to put this heart back in old Glyce. I hope you know what to do, Manny, because um, I'm pretty sure you have to go to medical school for many, many years to learn how to do a heart transplant. I hope... Will you stop snoring, Glyce? I'm trying to, try to speak. All right. I think Manny might be a... Uh, he was a doctor in, when he was a human. He was a doctor. Trust me. He was a doctor. I'm sure that worked. Oh, it did. Heart is good. Good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> what? I didn't even know you had a car. Oh, what the hell? Mr. Lamans, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Oh, he's the dude with the feds. Personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Dom. You should know I can get too mad, but not a domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, 
marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Oh my well, god. Maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Oh my flipping god, so that's what sprouted means. So they shoot him with some sort of flower gun. That's flipping awesome. That's a fancy kind of gun. What are you... I agree. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to have to end it here, Wolf and Wolfettes. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh -hoo!